this is a very rare vacuum cleaner. This is a vacuum cleaner that I've only ever seen in catalogue scans from the 1970s. This is a very down on its luck, hot point, upright vacuum cleaner. I've no idea if it works. I've no idea what's broken. It's a mystery. But it's going to be a rare mystery and it's going to be one that we shall be looking at today. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, this is a machine from the depths of a garage. Garages will be full of vacuum cleaners. I would have been for a few decades. This is a hot point budget upright vacuum cleaner from the 70s. Back when a hot point made good stuff. It's very shabby. It's a bit broken. There's some things that we'll never be able to fix. It's just very interesting, really. So while we're at this big angle, we'll start off with the handle because I can simply wheel it here, and you can see it has a plastic handle grip, which doesn't feel very secure. But it's also got a switch, which doesn't work. So I might see if we can take this off before we turn it on to see if it's an easy fix. At the back, we have the cable, which is in a pouch, in the back of the bag. Look, it's a nice grey ribbed cable with, it looks old. In fact, it probably is quite old, but it's modern. An Empire product, 13 amp, Generic, no name plug. But that's fine. See, the big, big problem with this is the bag, which is quite literally falling apart. You can tear bits that are not torn. Such a shame. But the bag is a scrap, and in fact, it's such a, such a shame that. We're going to be taking it off in a minute because, as like I say, this is falling to bits. Really, is we should try and you know, take it off and preserve it for now because you could, you 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 could not get another one. But, but let me go get a screwdriver, and we'll take that off now. And then at least we can look at the rest of the machine without having to pull it behind us. And we can take the bag off by undoing the four screws that hold it on hoping that they come loose this one has there's one there's another one under here which I can't see yeah it's come loose as well that's actually quite good because we can have a look at how the bag attaches on to see if there's anything else we could do to secure another bag in place. So we'll just undo the third screw. These are coming out very nicely. The heads are awful. Quite well, grippy right to the very end on this plastic. It's already cracked. Yeah, the heads are quite dirty, but the screw itself is okay. And that's what we want to see. I'd rather have it that way around. Ah, there we are. Fantastic, so that's this out the way. And for just looking at it, I'm fairly confident that 
we could take this off of here relatively easy and use this to hold a another bag because this bag is cream crackers See, it opens up as if I could open it off of this which is the bag assembly See, that's where it's torn look it's it's a top fill it's a top fill bag but look it's got a sort of Oh, okay. it, it, it does have a paper bag in it. Oh, see, no, I just tore that zip even more. That's the other problem. The zip is completely seized. So, yeah, it's got its little pouch, but it's, it's just cream crackered. Sadly, it really is. So we're going to put that very carefully to one side. Oh, I'll pick these screws up quickly and <laughs> put them up here. Blimey, let me have a look at the machine now. This is filthy. That's the height adjustment, which does work. There's the handle bail. It's got a service sticker on it, look, from Brighton. No idea what that would be. 102 Western Road, Brighton. It's also got a massive crack running down there, which is a big shame. This whole this isn't a very happy machine. Let's have it underneath look to show you how it looks. We have two rear wheels, two front wheels laid out just like a Hoover Junior. We have the ratings plate, which I'll show you in a bit. If I pop this up, wow. I think that's the remains of a foam, some sort of seal. I don't know if it's going to clean up or not. Oh, so it might do. No, it won't. <laughs> Yeah, the the double sided foam is cream cracking. Here we have a wooden brush roll. <laughs> Will it come out? In fact, there's a really perish belt on it as well. Oh, which way? Oh, there we go. So we take the belt cover off. Look, there's the little belt cover. With the Hot Point logo, that's going to be painful to polish. We can see that, oh dear, the motor is completely seized up. Oh. Righty ho, this is going to be slightly more fun than I was hoping for. We might as well leave the belt off now, but the brush roll itself spins fine. We're not going to mess with that. We'll put this, in fact, actually, we will put this back on. I'll show you the ratings plate. Because there's as good as any. Look, British Domestic Appliance Limited, Peterborough, England. This would have been made at the Hot Point factory in Peterborough. Which is where they used to make their vacuum cleaners. I think they I think they made the dishwashers and the washing machines as well. My grandparents used to go to the Hot Point Social Club to go dancing as it was back then. And I've been under Hot Point Bridge many, many times. Right, we've got to fiddly clip this back on. And then I think that's it. It's not very convincing. So we can't turn it on because it will do itself a mischief. I can push it, let me... It's very creaky, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's trying... This whole thing's at an angle. And I don't know why. 
that side touches the plastic, well, that side's far away. But, hey ho, so a very interesting machine. One that I am quite scared about. It has to be said, it's a big shame about this bag. Really is. But there's not a great deal that you can do when it's got to this stage. So we shall be concentrating mainly on this as opposed to this. So that's it for now. Not a lot else I can show you really. Apart from to say, wait and see. Once it's done, hopefully it will be a significantly large amount better. And I shall see you soon. Bye.